We've reported a lot this week about the heroes who emerged from the massacre in Las Vegas. They came in all shapes, sizes, and species. Here's Carter Evans. Meet the second responders. Everywhere they go, in the halls of Sunrise Hospital in Las Vegas. Absolutely gorgeous. These therapy dogs are helping to heal the wounds you can't okay. see. Yeah. I don't know if it was worse seeing what was going on at the actual site or if it was worse seeing what was going on here. Patient liaison Fabian Salazar raced to work as hundreds of patients flooded in. Like most of the staff here, he's worked for days with little rest. Anyone that's, that takes our minds off of reality for a few minutes is a nice little vacation. This is Lewis. And then there's the victims, like Michael Castor. He was shot in the back and keeps reliving the horror of watching people die. They didn't get out, you know, they like had some real type of injuries and they just, they didn't have, you know, for some one reason or another, they couldn't get out, couldn't get help in time. And then now you got Lois. Yeah. Take your mind off it for a few minutes, yeah. huh? These dogs from Lutheran Church Charities have flown in from all across the country. So who's been to Sandy Hook? Wow. They've also been deployed after major disasters like Hurricanes Harvey and Irma. And now the cavalry has arrived in Las Vegas. It was almost like the grief just dissipated as they touched these animals. Nurse Mary Lasik says it's easy to forget that those who provide critical care sometimes need care themselves. We're seeing such young, vibrant people who've been affected in such a critical, masochistic kind of way. It's tough. The healing will take time, but for a few precious moments, everything feels oh a little better. <laughs> this is awesome. Carter Evans, CBS News, Look Las Vegas. This. As we've said all week, the doctors, nurses, and dogs have done amazing work. That's the CBS Evening News. I'm Anthony Mason in New York. Thanks for watching. Good night.